What's up guys? Happy New Year. Um, so I did a belt review a couple months ago on an SBD and a Inzer lever belt. Um, those are a couple of the quote unquote top of the notch, top notch belts on the market for I guess you could say strength training. I mean, they're they're the thick ones, the 13 millimeters. So, anyways, um, I thought I'd now compare maybe a lever belt and a uh, prong belt. Um, yeah, unfortunately, I I was my mind was like just just sorry. My cats are in the cats are walking around here. They're uh, probably trying to drink my coffee or something <laughs> trying to wake up for the for the evening nocturnal anyways um i never thought about the i had my eyes set on the lever belts and uh wasn't even thinking about the benefits of a prong belt so anyways i'll uh speed this up a bit here um this is the lever belt i have an inzer forever lever belt um Boom, boom, black, kind of basic, kind of boring. Um, I didn't have a lot of color selection due to uh, selecting, uh, having an extra large, buying an extra large, I have a pretty thick core, and then I bought also uh, same, same size, um, same color, the uh, prong prong belt too. I actually just picked this up today and uh, it is stiff but so as you all know the difference probably between a prong and a lever is that the prong is like a buckle. It's like a belt buckle. Um, I don't think it would hold up your jeans very well though but so the reason I decided to buy a prong belt was um, I love the lever belts, but I fluctuate in weight and uh, unless you want to unscrew these all the time to adjust them, I think that's the major benefit of having a prong belt is um, it's a lot less time consuming. So um, I thought, why not have both of them? Um, best of both worlds, right? So, pick this up. Inzer, I'm sure people who are watching, if they know a little bit about powerlifting or strength training, strength products, they know that about Inzer. It's probably one of the top three or four belt brands out there. So, uh, people have had problems with the Inzer belts, I hear. <clears throat> not so much the belt itself it's a great quality um belt i hear everybody says that every any review i've done but um shipping wise i've heard they've been really poor the customer service but lucky for me um i have an, a, a dealer who sells deals with winter belts that literally their their city's like 45 minutes from mine so I ordered it yesterday, got it today. It was awesome. The only downside was I I didn't get a much color choice selection on color. I, I would have preferred a red, but I mean, is that a big deal? No. Anyways, so um, basic difference between the two. If you're trying to figure out the difference between a prong and a lever, obviously, that is what you look like. Same, same size, um, obviously there's the end of the prong, it's, uh, it shapes, shapes off differently and then obviously with the lever, that's going to be the through and through, it's pretty rectangle. Um, so if you're fluctuating in weight or, you know, you're doing a lot of different kinds of lifting, um, you know, you're going to want your belt adjusted differently, most likely between a squat and a deadlift to an overhead press, even where you're on a bench press. So, um, that is 
probably the benefit of a prong belt is less time consuming and you can adjust it. Um, the only downside I find with the prong belt is it's so much harder to freaking get on and off. Holy crap is this thing stiff. Um, wow. Like, you, I've, you gotta really work this thing. Even go up against the side of a, uh, a squat rack to uh, tighten it and loosen it. But, uh, I mean, in due time, everything gets worked in and worn down. So, yeah, that is my little review. I know it's not that thorough or anything, and I'm, and I'm not talking too much about the make of the belts or anything. I just kind of wanted to compare the pros and cons about the prong belt and the lever belt um, in my, uh, in my uh, journey so far, I guess, with both. Um, both belts are great though. Um, I wouldn't pick one or the, over the other. Uh, I mean, they're affordable-ish compared to the SPD. They're less than half the price. They're about 130 bucks, I think, up here in Canada for either one. I think actually the lever's a bit more. It's 135 and 125 So, um, yeah. Hopefully that helps a little bit. Uh, you know, one trying to decide what one to go for and why I guess so there is my little review take care of all you out there and uh, happy lifting Ooh.